Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of uh, sorting theory and in this video we are going to learn about uh, merge sort alright so okay. merge sort is a very important sorting algorithm and a slightly tricky one I would say okay. so why is it very important because its time complexity is big of any other and this time complexity is best time complexity a sorting algorithm can uh, provide you. Okay, and this is the best thing of a uh, merge sort. All right, but the uh, bad part of merge sort is it is is its a uh, space complexity. So it uses big O of n space complexity, which is uh, like we, in the previous video we learned about n space sorting algorithms, which uses only big O of n space complexity. Hmm. Merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. So uh, I'm guessing this divide and conquer term is a new term for many of you people. So we'll talk about it in the later part of this video. So let's go to the fourth part first. So it best works for the external sorting side like this. So when I'll teach you about the divide and conquer algorithm, you'll learn why is it why it is best for like this. Now let's talk about divide and conquer algorithm. So what happens in divide and conquer algorithm is we basically divide the array. Okay, we basically divide this array in two parts. Okay, we do some working on both the parts. All right, that working procedure goes that is called conquer, and then we basically merge them. That's why it is called a merge. Alright, so to give you a very brief idea how this works, let's do one thing. Let's write a pseudo code about merge sort. Okay. okay, I guess it works here. Okay. Let's write about Merge sort. Okay. Suppose we pass array. This was the starting index of our uh, you know, array and the last index of our array. Okay. Now, first, what we have to do is we have to find the middle point to divide the array into two halves. Okay. So, let's suppose middle n is what? L. Okay. Okay, I'll remind you once again that this is just a pseudo code, not the original C process code. Okay. Now we'll again call the merge sort of the first half. How we'll do that? We call the merge sort of the first half by array L comma M. We'll call the merge sort on the right half as well. So it will be merge sort array. M plus N H right okay now we know that our array has been sorted like the left part has been sorted and the right part has been sorted so now what we'll do we we'll simply call a merge function you know, to basically merge these two okay uh, let's say merge function is function merge which will take array with its L M half. Okay. And I'm doing this loop. Alright. So this is how it's done. Alright. Now I hope you got a brief idea of how merge sort is uh, basically works. Okay, we talked about the you know uh, basic working of it using these parts, right? And now what we just, what we have to do here is we just have to learn about what this merge function, how to write this function 
and we are ready to go with our effort. All right. So I hope you understood uh, about merge sort and the pseudo code of merge sort. And from the next uh, video onwards, we learn more about the merge sort and the merge function. All right. So if you have any doubt regarding this video, you may ask it in the comment section. And thank you for watching this video and see you later.